Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. This time I will be reviewing Gundam Barlet. So, yeah, I got the, well, sort of this limited edition. Well, it is though, it, according to what it says on here, it comes with the uh, action base as well. So, it's cheaper to get this version than getting the uh, one without the action bay because I got it in a cheap price so bargain for me so um, yeah if you see one of these in the store and you found that well if you find it and um, think of it and no I mean trying to actually look for the price tag and see uh, if you buy a combo is it cheaper than owning this limited edition those if it's cheaper uh, getting the limited edition just buy that instead of buying the extra like I mean uh, buy the action pack plus the Gundam unit yeah some sort are expensive in that way so I prefer to buy this so yeah I got the last balls of it so there's that anyway let's have a look at the side of this Gundam well this Gumpler whatever anyway so uh, people who haven't bought it so can have a look what is life looking for the side yep this is how it always look always light when it finish and there you go action well these well from this series, all of their movement, well, this is like a high grade for the 1 over 100 scale, but they, their Gundam Flame are really good, it's basically just like a Master Grade already, so I'm not sure will there be any Master Grade version of the Gundam Iron Blood Orphanage, so don't know about that, so we'll see how Bandai going to do about it. Anyway, so this is what's like under the box. So it's there you go. It is limited edition that come with this stand and this sticker as well. So actually, yeah, they charge you. Well, they charge you extra for the stand and the sticker as well. So there's that. Woohoo! But recently, Bandai released the uh, Gundam decals for. Uh, this series already so uh, might look into that later on so anyway I'm going to unbox and let's see what's inside Whoop, that, that side. so basically if you see this amount of stickers they giving you that means you have to well paint well that area is not painted and it's just one plastic all together so it's better if you do a like a, using an airbrush to paint it it's much better it is more economical in fact so here you go part the backpack the front and the waist and then there you go Starting to get to see the flame now. There's that. More part. The white color is actually really good, and the um, the details they did it really good on on here. So yeah, I mean the quality of their product is like generally like I don't know evolving at the moment. Which is good, and which is really good for any of us who like been building grandpa for a while. So yeah, the stand and the sticker at the bottom of the box. So you can see it here, and yeah, there you go. And let's see what's in, what's the rest of it. So this is. Just our oh, assemble instruction for what all oh, telling you. Oh, the tissue 
what to cut, what not to cut. So there you go, this is uh, just the instruction menu for the base. There is that. There is that. Anyway, put that back inside and here's the menu. Exactly from the box art already. So let's, let's go to it. So you just see the front of it. I mean, well, the first page. It's just a brief information about how this Gundam and the who well the pilot who control this Gundam. So there you go. And move on from the inside is starting to build the Gundam flames. Yep. At some point, it feels easy to build it because you mainly have to build the Gundam well. It's not as much part as you think because well I built other figures which take ages to build it before so this one well this one doesn't seem to be quite difficult to build it and the the Gundam Flay is not that difficult so there's that and at the back of it they put it in action and what could, could it be look like when it finished so yeah there is that anyway i hope you guys enjoy watching it please like share and subscribe my channel and i will be revealing more gram uh gumpla later on in my channel and see you